Kenny here. Where have you been, Captain? I swear, we've been on the edge of our seats since we lost your signal. Inside that shield, that's where. So, you think you can transport us? Not yet. The signal's still being jammed. Please, get outside its range as soon as possible. What's up? Our sensors have picked up Kronos ships. They'll make contact in 12 hours. General Alma's ship there? Now, I don't want to make assumptions, but they may not actually be his ships. All right, we'll step on it. Kenny, over and out. An emergency? Apparently, some Chrono ships are headed toward us. So we're off? That we are.
This air is so refreshing. Air's... refreshing? Yes, depending on its components, and that's scientific fact. It's not just a perception thing, got it? Yep. You might think air isn't composed of anything, but it is. When you analyze it under a cygnoscope... Uh-huh, I see. Maybe I should stop her. A respected family. Pardon me. Uh, I don't know. Should I really go drinking today? Ah, oh, whatever. Let's do it. Be careful. You can't stop an experiment in motion. What's that supposed to mean? It's something my mentor used to say. It means you should think deeply before taking any action. Well, now that you mention it. It might be a good idea to go easy on my liver. <laughs> he'd often give me advice, but he'd often disappear without any warning as well. He might not be the best person to listen to. He sounds like a great man. I don't know. the situation a fleet of four Kronos ships is currently on course for the Fakreed system at this rate they should make contact with us in fewer than seven hours four of them why would they think they need so many captain we're receiving a transmission from the Kronos fleet put them on screen greetings this is president Mutal of the central Kronos government the... President? Huh? Wait, what? wait, why would their president be here? He can't be serious. It's my distinct pleasure to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Emerson T. Kenny, and I'm the captain of this humble pan-galactic federation vessel, the Charles de Gaulle. It's an honor to meet you, Captain Kenny. Oh, no, sir. I assure you, the honor is all mine. If you don't mind me asking, Mr. President, what is it that has brought you to this frontier? Let's get right down to business. Certain high-ranking officials in our military have terminated contact with us. Despite our numerous attempts, we still have not successfully reached them. You mean General Alva? Well then, I see you're already privy to some of the details. Let me be clear. We have no intention of renouncing the Charter and Fiduciary No-Fly Zones. We ratified that treaty with the Pan-Galactic Federation and will continue to abide by its statutes. 
In contrast, General Alma is colluding with the anti-Federation faction of the military to incite a coup d'etat and eschewing the Charter is one part of their scheme. Well, sir, that's our understanding of it, too. How would Kronos ever have a future if we disregard it? It's impossible. We can't fight a civil war while simultaneously fighting one abroad with the Federation. What they are perpetrating is lunacy. On behalf of the Central Kronos government, I officially request the Pan-Galactic Federation's military support in this conflict. Without your cooperation, we cannot hope to prevent Alma's coup d'etat. I'll relay your request to our organization's commander with utmost haste, and I'll do my best to have a response for you by the time you reach the Fakreed system. I can't, however, make any promises. Your effort is much appreciated, Captain. Hopefully the answer we receive is an affirmative one. Mutal, over and out. I'll talk to the commander in my quarters. Delacroix, you're in charge while I'm gone. Yes, sir. You're going to trust someone who is your enemy up until now? Kronos isn't necessarily our enemy. It's General Alma and his faction that are. What if it turns out both groups are conspiring together? With technology this powerful and dangerous, you have to be careful. Misusing it could result in the deaths of hundreds of millions of people. Not only that, it could even destroy whole civilizations. And that's a reason not to go to war? Sounds like sophistry to me. When you become as advanced as we are, You'll realize you can't just start wars whenever you want, no matter who the enemy is. Are you saying we can't comprehend because our brains are as underdeveloped as our planet? That's not what I meant. <sighs> Sorry. Let's not continue this conversation. I respect your decision. Thank you. Kronos fleet's about to enter normal space. They'll be within Fakreed 4's orbital trajectory in five minutes. Understood. They're emissaries, so we'll welcome them as we would any diplomat. Put him on screen. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. President. We have yet to receive any transmission from Central Command. There's no need for you to apologize. These things often do take time. I appreciate it. Captain, there's an incoming transmission from Central Command. Put them on. Commander Dean, I'm pleased to report that the President has already arrived in our sector. I see. Ah, President Mutal. It's been quite some time. Yes, it certainly has, Commander Dean. Allow me to dispense with the formalities. The Federation Security Council just finished an emergency session, and I assume both you and Captain Kenny are anxiously awaiting the results. Please. Based on Captain Kenny's report, along with the logs from his ship, the Council's decision is thus. The Pangalactic Federation accepts the Central Kronos government's request for aid. As the representative body of the Pangalactic Federation, it is our top priority to ensure that peace is maintained. Thus, while we will indeed provide our resources to you, we recommend the utilization of non-violent methods with the opposition. We appreciate the help. However, there is no guarantee that General Alma's faction can be reasoned with 
peacefully. In such an event, we advocate the use of force to subdue them. As you wish. We shall endeavor to solve things peacefully, resorting to military action only if that proves fruitless. Furthermore, the Charles D. Gold is by far the closest Federation vessel to Kronos territory at this time. Not only that, but it also happens to be the fastest ship in our illustrious fleet. Therefore, Captain Kenny, I appoint you as the Federation's official ambassador. I'll do my utmost to serve fittingly in this new capacity. One more thing. I will dispatch reinforcements to your destination. It's unlikely, however, that they'll arrive in time. You're on your own in regards to cooperating with the Central Kronos government. Thanks for the warning, sir. I have nothing further, Mr. President. But is there anything you would like to add? I am deeply moved by the extent of your government's generosity. Very well. Then I shall take my leave. Captain Kenny, you're the Federation proud. I'll send the mission details to your ship later. Please make sure you review them. Understood? Understood. Dean, over and out. There you go. I look forward to working with you, Mr. President. As do I. Now, sorry if this is a bit too forthright, but let me share what we know about the sector in which General Alma is currently hiding. You already know where he is? We haven't simply been twiddling our thumbs on the sideline this whole time, you know. There is a certain asteroid belt 300 light years from Kronos Station 4, and it is there that the rebel faction has clandestinely erected its hideout. Let me send you the data we have on it. If we know where they are, I say we start heading there this instant. Very well. We'll send a fleet of ships from the Kronos governmental forces in the meantime. They ought to be able to rendezvous with us once we enter opposition territory. Do you know how many ships there are in the Rebel fleet? Mm, a dozen or so. But the real problem isn't their numbers, it's their firepower. They have all our most advanced battlecruisers at their disposal. Hmm. Sounds like we'll need to fight tooth and nail to win. Either way, our ship will follow dutifully behind you. May we come out of this on top, sir. Kenny, over and out. Engines to half power. Once we leave this trajectory, cruise at warp 14 to the coordinates the President sent. Yes, sir. Engines at half until we leave trajectory. Then cruise at warp 14 until destination. It'll be a while until we arrive. So do what you will in the meantime. Transmission incoming. From who? I don't know. It says the source is unidentified. Should we pick up? Yes. On screen. I'm so glad you decided to come, Captain Kenny. Well, if it isn't General Alma himself. <laughs> How fortuitous is that you live. For now, my wish to face you in battle can be granted. We've been dispatched as official ambassadors of the Federation. We wish to negotiate peace, not fight. Negotiate peace? The Federation? Is that supposed to be a joke? Well, do you see me laughing? It's true that I'd like to settle this without resorting to violence. You browbeat us into signing away our sovereignty, and now you have the gall to demand our unconditional surrender with a straight face? When will this farce ever end? We formed this alliance for the sake of preserving peace. None of the Federation's members would ever force you to join it against your will. That's mere semantics. No matter. The time for debate has passed. The Federation's nothing more than a government-run gang. Consequently, I have no qualms about using it as a guinea pig for our new space-time symbology. First, I'll slaughter you and the traitors who sold our home world. Then you know what I'll do? Use your corpses to fuel a beacon for a new Kronos! 
What a shame we couldn't work things out. I have a message for the stripling who fancies himself guardian to my test subject. Wet your proverbial blade, for you're about to see whose symbology is truly the greatest. His location? The asteroid belt from the data that President Mutal sent us, apparently. What a grand gesture from the General. Anne, see to it that President Mutal's flagship gets the transmission records and data analysis. Yes, sir. I estimate that it'll take around 16 hours to reach the asteroid belt where General Alma is hiding. No matter how we end up settling this conflict, it'll be settled by sometime tomorrow. I recommend you rest while you can. What are you doing here at this hour? What about you, Fidel? I just couldn't get to sleep. <sighs> Me neither. You know what? We've come so far on this journey. Yeah. Beyond the sky is pretty far, to say the least. It's not just the physical distance. We've experienced so many things that no normal Rasulians have. Things we didn't even know were possible. And we've learned even more. That's true. I swear, those days we spent hanging out with Ted and Stahl, they seem like they ended many eons ago. From here, they do seem distant. Recently, Fidel, I feel like you've been distant too. I don't think I have. Yes, you have. Some of it's out of your control, like what's happened with the war and with Feria. But you've set your sights on somewhere far away. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. That makes me sound like the villain here. Then what do I do? Stay by my side. For all eternity. I'll never ever forgive you if you try to leave me behind. All right. Tomorrow, I'm gonna do my absolute best to save Faria, so... You won't mind if I... Say at least one selfish thing, will you? Please, Fidel. Stay by me.
that's not enough. Your pathetic policies cannot save Kronos. Why can't you see that you're dooming our people to be Federation slaves? Starting a civil war serves only to deplete our national resources. Have you no backbone? A craven fool like you has no right to rule us. There's nothing more here to discuss. All that's left is for us to crush the Federation and Kronos' lapdog government. I'm sorry I couldn't do better, Captain Kenny. If we haven't convinced him by now, I doubt we ever will, Mr. President. The only option we have left is to engage them. Indeed. I knew it would come to this. In that case, sir, could you please order your ship to retreat to a safe distance? I'm confident we can handle the fighting ourselves. Thank you, and best of luck. Captain, three of the enemy ships look to be going on the offensive. Got it. All right, people. Time to get this operation underway. In the name of galactic peace, we are going to head into battle against the rebel Kronos forces led by General Alma. Fidel, your group will do what it needs to help the sisters. Understood. Okay, now open an audio link between our ships and the Kronos governmental forces. Audio link is now established. This is Emerson T. Kenny, captain of the Pan-Galactic Federation ship Charles D. Gold. My vessel will serve as the Kronos Governmental Forces flagship, as directed by the Federation Central Command and Kronos's President Mutal. It's up to every last one of us to ensure Kronos remains at peace rather than plunges into chaos. So let's go out there and give them hell. Kenny, over and out. Time to get this operation underway. Set a course. 90 Mark 135. What's the damage for both sides? Our shields deflected the entirety of their attack. No damage to report. One governmental warship has been destroyed. Another has taken heavy damage. Two more, enough to render them inoperable. Only one rebel ship has sustained heavy damage. Should we pull back and rethink our strategy? As a soldier, you should know that giving the enemy more time here would be fatal. We can't withdraw now. Maybe so. But continuing to fight would only increase our losses. Excuse me, Captain. If I may... I know that, but it doesn't matter. We'll have to go right for General Alma then. is the only thing fueling their resistance. Therefore, if we defeat Alma and get her back, they'll lose their reason to fight. That's easier said than done. Alma's most likely barking orders from the safety of their base, situated on that large asteroid. The shield around it will make an approach impossible. Actually, it just might be feasible. While we were traveling to this sector, I was able to analyze a portion of the data on space-time symbology we accumulated. I theorized that if Relia were to use her power, we could manipulate space-time in such a way that it neutralizes their shield. With practice, it could likely even disable the whole thing. Her current skills, however, should suffice. We can likely still negate a large enough portion of the shield to pass through. In short, going after Alma directly is well within the realm of possibility. But... I don't know if I can control my powers well enough. I'll offer what support I can by analyzing her psi waves. Come on, Relia. Let's go save Faria together. If I can save my sister, I'll try hard to get it right. Emerson, please get us ready to infiltrate their base. Can do. Let's go! Delacroix, prepare to transport us to the coordinates we got from President Mutal. Sir, you have a fleet to command. You can't just go running... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Sorry, Delacroix, but General Alma calls. Don't worry. You'll do a great job in my stead, First Officer. Deck 2. Transporter. 
Just think, if you could succeed at manipulating space-time, completely nullify shields, you'd be invincible. I assume that is exactly why Kronos was researching the ultimate script in the first place. For them to engrave something so terrifying on a smoker. The technology probably won't work unless they use a living being. Thank God it was Fidel. What about him? It's good that he was the one really opened up to about everyone. <sighs> Agreed. start, we'll neutralize the shields. I'm ready when you are. <laughs> go! Incredible. How'd it go? Think it'll work? Not right now. Something seems to be disrupting Relia's field. My sister, she... It would appear that Faria is currently emitting a field of her own. What if we use a shuttle to get closer while Relia has her force field up? Do you think that would help her neutralize Faria's field? According to the scanner, the field's effects deteriorate quadratically with distance. Thus, the closer Relia is to her target, the more likely she can cancel it out. Still, though, exposing a weaponless shuttle to the enemy's phase cannons is too dangerous. It may be dangerous, but there's no other way. I know I can do it. I'm okay. Ned looks like the bravest member of our team is also the smallest. Indeed. The shuttle's in cargo bay. Let's hurry. Kenny, to the bridge. The bridge here. Need a favor. As long as it isn't anything absurd. We're gonna use a shuttle and fly right into the enemy's home base. Absolutely out of the question. It's too dangerous. Too bad for you, but we're gonna do it. I request that next time you take me instead of Lieutenant Trisiani. Also, if I may speak freely, sir, I'm quite shocked that I don't get to accompany you to the grand finale. I'm sorry. It's all right. In the meantime, I'll keep the Kronos governmental forces thinking you're aboard this ship. Go give General Alma the old what for, sir. I'll be in charge of the helm. Bridge to the captain. What? I've uploaded a projected route to your shuttle. Please take a look at it. How thoughtful. You prepared to start, Relia? You'll have to keep your signaturgy activated the whole time, but can you do that? I can. Good girl. You're not alone. We'll get through this together. Yep. I'll open the doors for you. Thanks. <laughs> We're ready for takeoff. Our field's about to come in contact with Farias. First, 
concentrate solely on this one finger. Okay. <laughs> 